So first of all, um, obviously the big one, scalability. So like intuitively, modular blockchain stacks are more scalable because there's a separation of resources, and that means each node in each layer of the stack can be more specialized to a specific function. So for example, on the data availability layer, the nodes don't do any computation. They just do data availability. And that means they can optimize their resources to uh, like having high bandwidth uh, you know, resources rather than computation. And they can be specialized just on, one, on that one task. And the main benefit of this kind of comes from the resource pricing. You're separating the resource pricing for different resources on the network. Like you have different resource pricing for data than computation. And finally, uh, in a modular blockchain stack, it's quite common to use um, technologies like data availability sampling and fraud proofs or, or ZK proofs. And this is very important for scalability because the whole, um, like the whole, the, the, in order to scale blockchains, you can't just increase throughput. You also have to increase throughput while enabling users to still gain assurances about the correctness and validity of the underlying chain. And in traditional blockchains, the only way you can do that is if the users actually re-execute every single transaction, which most users cannot do. But with technologies like data availability sampling and fraud proofs and validity proofs, it allows ordinary users to effectively be first-class citizens of the network and have almost the same level of security as a full node that is actually downloading all the transactions without having to have the same resource requirements as a full node. Secondly, flexibility is a major advantage of um, modular, modular blockchains. We can see there's a kind of a, Cam a Cambrian explosion of different execution layers that are innovating in different ways in the Ethereum roll-up space, for example. And these different, layer, this, these different execution layers have different advantages. For example, you know, Fuel's execution layer is parallelizable, for example. And this is very important because um, if you think about the history of the web, um, this, I, like before, before the cloud or virtual machines were popular, people used to just use shared web hosting providers, you know, like G DreamHost or, or you know, GeoCities. And that really limited the innovation of the web because you were limited to whatever like, execution environment or, or programming languages that that host provider had on their server. But nowadays, no one uses that. Nowadays, people just deploy like, virtual machines on Amazon EC2. And they effectively have their own operating system. And they can install whatever they like on it and experiment with all kinds of different like programming languages and, and technologies. 